Hey everyone, it's Marco here from the Thema team. Today we're going to be having a look at the advanced parameters within Zupa Widget. Now I'm going to take into account that you understand a little bit on how Zupa Widget works. If you don't really know, check in the link in the description below. I've provided everything that you need as this is slightly advanced and it can get pretty complicated. So without any further ado, let us begin with today's new video. So first off, what exactly are advanced parameters? Advanced parameters are modifiers, changing modules dynamically according to various situations. Or in layman's terms, it just means that you can change the look of your clock, your battery information, or your image in ways that you've never imagined. Advanced parameters will look at what numerical value or condition has been created inside of its field and then use this information to alter your module. In this tutorial, I'll be covering how to set up an analog clock changing the color of an icon when you receive a notification, and finally, how to get a module to follow a progress bar. Let us begin. Great, so let's start off with something easy. Changing colors and opacity. Sometimes you don't want a lengthy notification, for example, to let you know how many emails you have. So instead you can just change the color of the text or change the opacity of a bitmap. I'll give you an example for when you receive an SMS the SMS icon lights up to let you know that you have something new to read. So how would we do that? Well, first I'll insert a rich text module as I'm going to use a font glyph which enables me to change its color, very much like you would with text. I covered font glyphs in a previous video, so see the link below for more information. I've now added in the SMS font glyph, so now we can just move on to the advanced parameters. I'll set up a standard if then else condition stating that if the SMS count is less than one, I'll want it to be white and green if I receive an SMS. Therefore, we add the C parameter to alter the font color. For a bitmap though, you can only alter its opacity, not its color, hence using a font glyph. Simply input the hex color code into both then and else spaces and then it should spit out a color value. As you can see, it's now white. But once I receive an SMS, the font glyph will go green, notifying me that I have a new SMS. Don't forget that you can also apply this feature for say a battery indicator that can go say red when your battery is really low, which also looks really great. So quick and simple like that. Now you know how to change your text color in advanced parameters. Nice. So now let's move on to analog clocks. These clocks look neat and can add an extra bit of style to your home screen. The problem lies in the fact that you can't just throw one in, therefore you have to build one from scratch. I'll start off with a basic clock. So I'll first throw in a large circle with a width of 140, a rectangle or the minutes hand, which will follow this circle with a length of 70, which is the radius of the circle, a smaller circle with a width of 80, as well as a smaller rectangle with the hours hand with a length of 40, which will be following the smaller circle. Don't worry, I'll explain it all later on. You'll need three advanced parameters if you want your clock hands to look good. So here they are in no specific order. The sweep angle of the circle centered at the XY offset or the AS, the radius of the circle centered at XY or the AR, and then finally your rectangle rotation. So the sweep angle and the rectangle rotation are essentially used to show where the hand will point to. So if it's a minute hand, you want it to point onto the current time but only in minutes. Seeing as a circle can be split up into 360 degrees, your minute value will then be 360 divided by 60 for minutes, multiplied by the current time in minutes, or DM in lowercase. Next, the radius of the circle. Now this part is very important and it can get pretty tricky. The number is always half the radius of your circle, and this changes according to if you say using your minutes or your hours. So for the minutes, my circle now has a width of 140, Therefore, the radius will be 70, making this AR number 
35. However, the hour's hand is slightly different as it's going to have a smaller radius of its circle that it's going to be completing. Therefore, if I had to say make a circle around it with a radius of 40, this AR number will then be 20. So just to clarify this, your radius of the circle is dependent on whether you want to have a minute's hand or an hour hand and it's always going to be half of whatever the radius of the circle is. So we always recommend making a smaller circle if you want to say have an hour's hand, otherwise after a while your hour hand isn't going to look too good. Another thing to take note is that if you simply just want to have a circle instead of a hand to make it look really modern, then you just make it the entire radius of that circle that you want to follow. So that pretty much covers the basics of analog clocks within advanced parameters. And as you can see, it's a little bit tricky to start off with, but once you get the hang of it, it's really that simple. Now moving on to our last example of the day, getting your battery percentage to follow your battery progress bar. So as you know, adding in a progress bar is pretty easy. You just need to add in a progress bar module, change your progress value to your battery level, which it should be set to default already, then you just have to change the size and color accordingly. So now you have this neat little battery progress bar, but it looks somewhat dull. So you want to add something special to it. How about a battery percentage that follows the end of the bar? This begins our journey for the offset parameters. Starting off, add a rich text module and then edit the text manually to make it show your battery level, which in this case will be B11 or your battery level in numerical value, which is nice. Now let's jump into those juicy advanced parameters. We're now going to look at your X and Y offset parameters or OX and OIS as I like to call them. These parameters can alter the position of your module according to whatever conditions you place inside them, whereby they will then churn out a specific X and or Y coordinate. Firstly, we need to take into consideration the X offset and the width of the progress bar itself. If I go back and check, the X offset is set to negative 180 and our width is 360. Now going back to our battery percentage, we'll then need to include both of these coordinates into our formula that we're going to create. So first we'll add in the X offset parameters, followed by our dollar signs as well as the brackets, because now remember the math equations are now involved. I'll now add in the negative 180 plus the brackets again, as well as your battery level in numerical value, followed by the width of your progress bar divided by 100. I know it does sound pretty confusing, but all you're doing is justifying where you want that battery percentage to be. So in my case, the length was 360, therefore that end unit will be 3.6. And that's it. You can of course replace this with a circle, a rectangle, or even an image, as this advanced parameter is purely pushing out an X coordinate for whatever module you want to have there. And once you're done, you're left with a very awesome looking battery percentage bar that shows your percentage, and it just makes your theme look a whole lot better. And that concludes our video guys. Thanks very much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Personally, I'd just like to give out a huge thanks and a huge shout out to Sebastian Spindler who helped me out tremendously with this video as well as anything related to Zupa Widget in general. And if you have any other further questions, please forward them onto the official Zupa forum where either him or any one of the other Zupa Widget experts will be able to help you. And do not worry, all of this is included in the link below, so you definitely want to go check it out. Other than that, thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from the My Color Screen channel, and as always, don't stop customizing.